Hi guys, let's take a look at directe and indirecte rede. In the previous video, we did direct to indirect and now we're going to do indirect to direct. So whatever we did in the previous video, we're going to remove it. Okay. Tian het gevra of iemand sy nieuwe cellphone gesien het. Okay. So, in the first video, we removed colons, quotation marks, and we took the verb towards the end of the sentence. But we know the verb doesn't belong at the end of the sentence. So that's something you have to keep in mind now. And there's our verb. Doesn't belong there. So we say, Tian het gevra, open, no, sorry, not open. We put the, sorry, oops. We put the colon. Then, remember, this was part. The of and the dat is part of our change from direct to indirect. Remember this part? So now we take it out. We don't need it anymore. We take it out. And we open our quotes. Then immediately after our quote, we had either our verb or a pronoun. Okay? And in this case, we're going to take the verb and put it right to the front again. So the verb won't be there anymore. So Tia net gefra het iemand. And say, we have to change it back to may. Tia net gefra het iemand my nieuwe cellphone gesien. And obviously, question mark, and we close the easy peasy, right? Okay, let's try another one. If you didn't get the first one, that's okay. Let's try the other one. Samantha het gesê dat sy die vorige dag daar die boek by die boekwinkel gekoop het. Okay, so let's do it again. Samantha het gesê, we put our colon, we erase dat. Remember, dat is from Direct to indirect. And we don't need it here because we're changing back to direct now. We open our quotes. Samantha het gesê. And we now have to have our verb. Remember my verb. So it's either going to be the pronoun first or the verb first. And usually when it's not a question, the verb won't be first. Okay? So this is not a question. This is a stalsen. So Samantha het gesê. Say needs to change to act. And after act is now my verb. What is my verb? Het. I'm going to remove it from the end and I'm going to insert it here. Ek het. Die vorige dag daardie. Die vorige dag daardie. We don't speak like that in directe rede. That has to change. Die vorige gister. Ek het gister daardie is hierdie. Right? Ek het gister hierdie boek by die boekwinkel gekoop. Full stop. I close my quotes. Is that simple, right? Samantha het gesê, colon, open quotes, ek het gister hier die boek by die boekwinkel gekoop. Die sien ontken dat hy die cellfoon gesteel het. Okay, die sien ontken. I put my colon, remember, dat en of, I remove. And I open my quotes. Hy die cellfoon gesteel het. Hy becomes, ek, and we put het back in its place, ek het. Now, what's interesting about this one, it's an onkenning. What happens to an onkenning? Nee, nee, my double nee. So, ek het nie die cellfoon gesteel nie. Full stop, I close my quotation. Easy peasy, right? Now, Jeremy beveel, command, alles om vinnig deur, sorry, om vinnig die deur toe te maak. Okay, so, Jeremy beveel, my colon, and I open my quotes. Jeremy Befeel. Alice, we put our verb back where it belongs. Alice, mark vindig. We don't speak in the infinitive. Alice, mark vindig die deur toe. Exclamation, close quotes. We don't speak in infinitive, so we remove the infinitive, right? Jeremy Befeel. Alice, mark vindig die deur toe. Sean het gevra of hulle die volgende dag die rugby wedstrijd gaan speel. Sean het gevra. I put my colon. Remember, dat of of is part of indirect rede, so I remove it completely. Sean het gevra. Open quotation. Where is my verb? At the end, and I don't want it there. So we take it out, and we place it at the front. Remember, when it's a question, I usually always start with the verb. Sean het gevra. Gaan. Hulle needs to change to. Jelle. Sean het gevra. Gaan jelle. Die volgende dag changes to more. Sean het gevra, gaan jylle more die rugby wedstrijd speel? Question mark. 
and then I close my quotation. And that's how you do it. And with practice, you, you'll be able to do every single thing. You just have to follow those steps. Okay, and that is it, guys. I will see you in the next one.